Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute little Christmas cottage gift box. I know a lot of you are going to love this because you, so many of you, enjoy the she shed and the bird box that I made. So I'm going to create like a little, I don't know what to call it yet, but I'm going to do a playlist that has these kind of projects in them because these are just so much fun. They can just be a decorative storage item if you would rather. This would be quite nice at Christmas just to maybe keep, I always say it's nice to have somewhere to keep like spare candles and batteries and things like that that we need over the Christmas period. So you could always use it as that kind of thing, but it is also a beautiful gift box. So this is using the lovely Paper Addicts papers. I'll show you those in a moment. I just bring it up here just to show you all the detail. You've got your chimney here with this <laughs> little fake smoke coming out the top. I've got a little tag here, sending love at Christmas. There's all artificial snow on here. I've got these Christmas lights. I've got this lovely wreath with the little gemstones. I've got artificial snow here. You've got a little flat back pearl for the handle. And then I've cut all these presents all here. And you can, again, you can see just how lovely that snow all looks around the side there as well. And again, on this side here, the back's plain. And then you just undo the top. And inside you have a very roomy gift bag or box. You can put a handle on this and turn it into a gift bag, but look how much room you've got in there. Because it's reinforced with grey board, chipboard on the base, you can put something very heavy in here as well. So it'd be lovely to put maybe a nice set of, you know, some perfumes and um, toiletries. Those things can be quite heavy. You might have some miniature bottles of something for somebody, some gin, things like that. So I think it's going to be really nice. And um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen with this. It might well just become a display piece. I'm getting a little bit attached to these things when I make them. I made this at head office. So they kept that one for um, to be photographed and to help promote the papers. So um, I will share the links of the professional one that was taken and the one I made at head office. But this one, I just thought I've got to make it again because I want it for myself. So yeah, I'm not sure who's going going to get this with a present yet but we will see but let's get into this fun tutorial and I hope you enjoy it. Okay so this is the paper pad so it's the Paper Addicts Cozy Christmas it is I think my favourite this one and the Magical Moments I think the other one is as well they're just really really nice so lots of lovely elements to cut out which you'll see in a moment but that's the one I'm using today. Then I'm probably going to use one of the felt wreaths which I didn't use before. I don't think we had them, I think they were still waiting for these to arrive so I'm probably going to use one of them depending on how like the proportions look. I am going to use one of the pom-poms off of this, I've already cut it off here, for the door handle. Now we do have in the Simply Creative range these little polystyrene balls in silver and white and it was the white one that I used on the day when I was at head office making it. So. But I haven't got that one, so I thought I'm just going to use that. But you can use a button, you can use a little, you know, a, an a embellishment. It's entirely up to you. And I'm probably going to use these. I didn't use these last time either, but the adhesive snowflakes. I might just stick a few around the sides and stuff, so I think that'll look quite sweet. And then that is the same ribbon that I use. So it's the gross grain, and this one says lots of love. Okay, so I've gone ahead and already fussy cut little bits and pieces here. So I've done my presents from one of the sheets, really easy to cut out. I've done these hearts, which I'm going to hang from the front. I've got my little Santa's, like the sack there with all the presents, another there. I've done that. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. I might do a window on the side and I might have it in the side window. And then I've done the tag there for the top. Okay. But again, decorate entirely, you know, how you want. I've done my windows and my door, talk you through that in a moment. Okay. So you're going to need two pieces. I've already done one there, but you want two pieces of 12 by 12. And this is for the main box. So along, if it's directional paper, make sure you've got it the right way up. And you're going to score it four and 11 and a half. And then rotate it and you're going to score again at four and 10. Okay, and do that twice. You'll also want two pieces that are five by eight and a quarter. And it's going to overhang the width of the box slightly. So the width of the box is eight, but this eight and a quarter, you're going to have one, in, one eighth of an inch just overhanging. I just thought it looked nice. So along the five inch side, you want to score at one inch. Okay, I've already done that on both of mine. Just fold and burnish that because what will happen is this is going to be the top, okay, which we're going to hole punch and then when you open it up, you'll be able to go inside the box. All right, so that is how the roof will look and we'll add the chimney and all those bits later on because people are going to be using different things and yeah, so 
So once we get to that, we'll go through it but, um, in more detail. So then you want, for the door, I have used a white piece that is two and a quarter by four, and then the piece on top I've just dropped down, so it's two by three and three quarters, okay? And then that's gonna have the little pom-pom, if you imagine, there, and also the wreath, all right? And then these here, the white is two by two, and then the pattern is one and three quarters squared, and then these here are two by a quarter, and you want four pieces, and you'll see how I've just stuck them, one that way, and then one over the top that way to give you your windows. Really basic, really simple. I don't wanna to do too much detail with these things. It's all with these extra little accessories that we're gonna use later. Okay, so that's all the scoring done. With one of these here, you just wanna fold and burnish all of your score lines. Okay, and then we wanna do a little bit of cutting. So you want the half inch tab on the right hand side. So this here is gonna be the base. You wanna cut up that first score line to this score line here. Okay, so you've done that. And then this little piece here, you wanna cut up and then just remove that completely. Okay, and then stay on this side on the tab, go up to the next score line. And again, just snip into that and remove that completely. Okay, so that's what you should have. And then this score line here, which you'll have just here, you just want to cut down that one. Okay, now this here is going to fold and stick on that one and become one corner of your box. So what you want to do with this piece here is just take a wedge off of each part. Okay, and that is one of them. So you will do that twice, you'll have two pieces. So here's my other one. And what I'm gonna do first, usually now I would stick the sides and bring it all together, but I think what I wanna do is add the the roof first. Because I made this, you know, when I'm crafting and I'm not having to record, it's very different because I don't really think about the measurements, I just kind of do it and hope for the best. So I can't remember exactly what I've done on the day because we were all crafting together and chatting and eating chocolate and all kinds of things, but I think it was something like this. So what I want to do with this is I want there to be, so when you stick it down, I want it to overhang, okay, like so. Now it's entirely up to you how much you want that to overhang. Now if I fold that piece in, all right, just fold all this in and you've just got this piece here and you've got the larger bit at the bottom. When you sit this the roof over, you will have the overhang there because I said, didn't I say this was eight? I'm wondering now if it was a little bit shorter. Oh no, seven and a half, because that's taken into account the tab. So, but that's fine. You're gonna have this overhang, which is what I wanted. Okay, so I just thought it just made the roof look a bit more authentic. Now, if you line it up with the score line on the top, but then bring it down a bit. Now it's up to you how much you want it to, like I said, overhang. So if I fold this over, it might make a bit more sense. Just trying to show you how you can, you know, how you can have it however you want. So I'm gonna have about half an inch overhanging. Okay and then you'll have half an inch overhanging on each side. So I've just got equal there. When you lift it up, this is the piece here that you're gonna add your glue to, all right? So I'm gonna cover all of this section. So I think adding the roof is easy to do when it's all flat because you can line it up easier with the other one and you can add the hole punches and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so with the roof, with that folded piece, obviously at the top, because that's where we're gonna hole punch and that's gonna be the opening. I'm gonna turn this over and I wanna make sure I can see. I'm gonna do it like this. Just eyeball it, get your overhang this side first and then I would fold it over and then you can kind of wiggle it for a little bit. I've got some time there but I'm happy with that and just stick that down. So now you'll see we've got that roof effect with that little overhang. I just think that overhang detail just does create a better roof look. Got something on my paper there. Okay, and that is your hinge. So that's where it will open and close. These are your side pieces, just to obviously, you know, cover what the gift is inside, but I think it looks really nice. Now, to make sure you get that lined up with the other piece, I mean, there shouldn't be any reason you don't as long as you've got that same width here. So again, half an inch, half an inch. So with this one here, 
skim. And again, I'm going to sit this here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this down on the top of this one. Fold everything in, fold that in like I'm doing. Okay, and then you can just lay it over the top. As long as you make sure you get your base lined up. I get this all in shot. Okay, so make sure the roof is sat perfectly over that piece. Like so. And then sit this piece so it lines up with the base. Okay. As long as the base lines up and the sides, you will know that your chimney will that your roof will line up. There we go. It's just easy to do that when it's separate, I think. Okay, so those two pieces sit perfectly over each other. And you know now that when we go to put it together, the roof is going to line up perfectly. Like so. All right, so now we can do that. So I'm going to add some, what I might do actually is just take a little wedge off of these little pieces that will go in on the sides as well just to I'm just really removing the score line okay so any bulk that might be there just that one and then this one here okay so what you want to do is first of all I'm going to add some glue you're going to have to fold it in a bit you're just going to add some glue on this and then you want to sit this one in just underneath the, the roof there without the roof bit sticking so you need to like sandwich that in between and just make sure that the baseline is all lined up so this line here okay but you just need to clip it underneath that little bit of the overhang there okay and then fold this one and you're going to work again here so add your glue and again, just clip that piece under there and then the rest will all go nice and flat. And it should marry up perfectly. Okay, so now with the base, just fold all that in for a second just so you can check how it's all gonna come together. These bits will fold in just like a normal bag and then once we hole punch and put the white on there just a bit better, can you see how you're getting your roof? I think it looks really, really lovely. And then once you add all of this detail, and then we're gonna have everything hanging, we're gonna build up all of this, we've got the wreath, we've got loads of lovely stuff, it's gonna look fantastic. So what I would do now is stick the base down. So I always like to have, so decide on the front and back, because you might have a preference, you might you know, prefer the design more. See, I've got lots of hearts on that side, but you are gonna, a lot of that's gonna be covered by snow. So I think I'm going to go for this side because that's going to get covered with snow and then you'll see all these hearts and the rest of the snowflakes there. So this is the front, so I'm going to bring up the back one first. I'm then going to add glue onto this piece. And I'm going to be reinforcing the base as well, so you don't have to. I mean, you might know, you might be putting just a nice little a hat and scarf set in here or something very light, then I would say you don't need to reinforce it. But if you're going to put something heavier, so just stick those in. I'm just going to turn it upside down a second. Okay, and then just put some glue all on this bit here. And then just stick that piece over there. And again, just go inside and make sure that's all stuck down. Okay, you we'll close all that up. And there you have a really lovely house coming together and a great size gift box. So what we do now is we secure the top of the roof because I think if you get it all perfectly like squared off and closed and everything, then it's going to be really nice and easy to start to decorate. Okay, so these pieces here are one inch by eight and a quarter and they are going to just go right over the top here. Now you may not want to do this, I've done it because I'm going to stick my chimney over the top and you really notice the chimney and you really notice the ribbon because it pops against the white. I just found that all got a bit lost when I'd done it originally. So that's what I'm doing there. You may not want to use white, you might want to do the cream, but because I've got the white in the frame of this, it does all tie together. So I'm going to stick them over the top of each side there of the 
the roof. Okay, next we need to add the holes. So you can punch through both if you've got a strong hole punch. So I'm using the crocodile, so I know that will go through both layers, the front and the back. If you don't, then I would just do one at a time. And when you've punched through the top ones, line them up, draw through the top ones so you, you know they're exactly the same on the back piece and then cut it again and then punch it again. So what I'm gonna do is just mark roughly where I want them. So I'm gonna come in about three inches on um, each side. So let's just grab my ruler. Actually, I'm going to have to hold that for a minute. So three inches, you want to be in the center. So I'm going to do one little dot there and then come in at three inches here. Do another little marker. Okay, and then I'm just going to hold those together. I might want to put a peg in the middle or something. I'm just going to, and then grab this one. Okay, keep them tight together and then do the next one. Okay, so now you'll see they will marry up perfectly. Then I'm going to grab my ribbon. Like I said, I want to get it all tied off and in its shape and then I can decorate it better. Okay, so again, side on the front, I'm going to go for that one, wasn't it? Because I wanted the hearts. So you just want to go in from the back of each side. And then I'm just going to tie it off in a nice bow. Okay, and then we'll, we'll tidy all that up nearer the time, but I'm just going to just do, so I've got lots of love, so I want to cut it just there, so you get to see all of that. And then again, lots of love, so I'm going to cut it just there. And just tidy off the ends there. Okay, so now it's ready to start decorating a bit better. So I'm going to get the door and the windows down, okay, like so. And then, because I've gone a bit taller with this one, I think, I'm going to use some, there is this really lovely, there's this here, which is like lights. I might fussy cut them and have them there, or I've got some lights that I might use on it. So let me just start getting all these other bits in. So I'm do the chimney at the very end. I'm going to start playing around now and stick all this down. I'll put it all on high speed. I've got these snowflakes there. I might just put a few scattered on the rooftop and stuff, but I'm going to start getting this kind of all in place and then yeah, we kind of finish it with the snow.
Okay, so this is what I've got up to. So um, next I'm gonna do the base and show you how you can reinforce this and make it stronger. And also we're gonna add the chimney. Now to get the snow effect, I've used the artificial snow. This is the Simply Creative bag. Now I find that you get a much nicer, whiter look of snow. If I bring it up, can you see there? If you stick it onto white card. If you stick it onto this, it you need to add a lot, layer and layer and layer to get it looking like a white snow. It's it's quite see-through. So again there, I just added these little window sills. Now for those, I just cut a piece of two and one eighth by about three eighths of an inch. And again, just stuck snow over it and then stuck it down. I might do some along the top of the, the door there. I'm not entirely sure. Still got to put the doorknob on. I think I'm actually going to go for something like this instead. Now I've also put windows on the side. I just need to put the little windowsill on there and put some snow. But what I wanted to do is go through the base. Now what I'm going to do, because I want to have snow all around the side. So if you see that now, that's going to go on the base to reinforce it. So you can put something heavier in here if you want. Or keep it as a decorative piece. It's entirely up to you. But because this is the grey board, if I was to just put loads of glue on and stick this over, it would, like I said, it would just take a long time. So I've just got some paper here. This is just like, it's a little bit thicker than a copy paper, but I want to cover this just as I would a mini album. So I'm going to add some glue, get this wrapped around and covered, and then just seal the back. And then I'm going to cover, no, then I'm going to stick this down and then I'm going to add glue around the, the frame. It's pointless covering the whole piece in snow because that needs to stick on top and it probably won't stick as well. So first of all, I'm just going to use some of my book binding glue and I'm going to pop it all on the grey board and stick this piece to it. So just stick it into the middle so actually I need to give you the measurements of all of this some of you are probably going Sam we don't know what size it is it's five and a quarter by that's gonna be eight and a half okay and then the paper on top is six and a half by I do ten and a half okay as long as it wraps around so I'm just going to flip it over and make sure that all sticks down okay then just fold the sides. This is a paper, so I'm so used to using a thick, thicker card when I wrap and do this for like mini albums, so it'd be much, much quicker now. And then you just want to go around, add some glue all around the sides. I think I just had a blockage in my glue and now it's moved and it's all coming out everywhere. I'm just going to add some blobs here, like so. Add it all on the corners. So I'm just doing it the same way as a mini album, but I'm not being as, I guess, uh, neat. So I'm just going to bring in the corners like that. And just pop some more glue on the sides there. And then just very carefully, because I am working more with a paper rather than a cardstock. So just be a little bit careful. I'm just going to wrap it all around. Okay, so I've done that and then I've also gone and cut a piece of eight and three eighths by five and one eighth in the pattern paper. I just thought it would look quite nice. So I'm just gonna cover that one on the back of this. In fact, I'm gonna use this glue. Okay, so now I wanna stick my house onto this. And can you see already, even if you don't have the artificial snow, by having a white base, it just does give the the look of snow so I'm just going to add my glue straight onto here now you could put some grey board inside as well if you wanted to but um, like I said this is going to be a very nice gift bag or gift box because you can add the handle as I mentioned but there'll be a very special gift going in this one so I'm just going to pop that so that you've got an equal amount overhanging like so, I'm going to open it up and just go inside and make sure that's all secure. Okay, 
So now that is ready for me. I'm going to use this quick dry tacky glue. I'm going to cover all of this and then I'm just going to literally dump all of that artificial snow over the top and then we'll finish it off with the chimney. Okay, so that's turned out brilliant. So can you see there all of that artificial snow and it looks just lovely against the white paper underneath. And I just want to live in this little place. I think it's just adorable. I said that on the day, I said, can I take this one home? I want to keep it because um, yeah, it's just so lovely. I think I'm going to add another present in there. I think there's definitely room for just maybe the same of that one again. So you might see that added in. And I'm going to add some like glitter like Win Costello and just a little bit of shine to some of these pieces here. But now with the chimney, very, very straightforward. So I've just got a piece of pattern paper. So this matches the door. And this is one and three eighths. It doesn't have to be exactly that by two and a half. Play around with it if you want it to be different. And then I've got this white piece that's going to sit over the top and overhang just to create the kind of lip there of the chimney. And that is half an inch by one and a half. Okay, so I'm just going to... So first of all, actually I want to make some snow on this. I've just put my artificial snow away and I need a little bit more on this one. So I'm just and then I'm just going to pop a thin a line of glue just there. Stick that piece on top like so. And then, again, this is optional, you don't have to have it, but I've got some of this wadding, so it's probably even too much still. You only need a very, very small amount. But I loved having it popping out the back, so it actually did look like the fire was on inside. So what you could do, and I may well end up doing that actually, is sandwich it between another piece of this. So I think I'm just going to trim this down to the same size so you probably yeah I'd go for two pieces I don't think I'd done that before because it was obviously being photographed it wasn't actually really going to be used that one so this is again one and three eighths by two and a half so what I'm going to do is just on the back from the very top cover it all in glue then I'm going to stick this just stretch it out a little bit just on the back there put some more glue kind of on the top there it will squash down in a minute oh. try not to get too much of a mess in a mess and then I'm just going to sandwich that over the top that's worked okay and these then actually it looks nice from both sides for some reason I've cut that, it must be too big. I just have to trim that down in a second, but now you've got a really cute chimney. I'm just going to trim that side a little bit. So, and then you just want to stick it over the front there. And that's all I've done, and I think it looks really, really cute. So I'm just going to pop some glue on this piece here, actually. You might want to do two chimneys, you can do one either side. I'm also going to add a little heart onto this just to tie it all together because it is a very cute little cottage. So I've got this heart here. Probably actually could have had that just coming out underneath but the sh because it's got these pieces here I'm just going to butt it right up so it looks like it's coming out underneath the, the chimney piece there. So again just stick this one down. Okay, so I've just got my Winker Stella pen and I'm just literally painting over any areas that I want to have some sparkle. So I'm going to have the hearts. You can use the Spectrum Noir as well, the sparkle pens. I have got them, but they're running out. So I've grabbed an old Winker Stella. I like the clear. I think this is the clear. Um, yeah. 999 is the, the code. And you can let it dry and then go over it again. I'm also going to add some onto that little heart there and maybe onto these presents and when it catches the light it's just really pretty okay 
there you have it if I bring it up how's it cut yeah you can just see the glitter catching the light there on those little hearts and I've put little embellishments on there and you can see that all catches the light I've gone for that little pinky kind of mother repel one there so it keeps again all the colors together I love it all absolutely adore this love that little bit of the <laughs> the smoke coming out the chimney and then you've got the windows on the side I do I forgot to add the snow so I'll probably leave it because you're not really going to notice it but I am going to cut some more little presents out and kind of have them around the sides as well it's a lovely sized gift box it's obviously nice and strong it's reinforced now but it would be nice just for storage you know you just might want to have it as an ornament and then keep you know some bits and pieces in it over Christmas time so yeah thoroughly pleased with how this one's turned out i hope you've enjoyed it i hope it inspires you like i said it doesn't have to be christmas it can be anything that you want lovely new home gift you know add the the ribbon through the holes to make a handle and then you can give that to someone with their gifts for their new home in it and i think that'll look lovely as well so that's it from me today thank you for watching please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed today and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more thanks for watching bye